Well, hi, baby. Happy Monday, Father's Day, December 13th. Um, there's a song about that. I don't know. Just another manic Monday. Whoa, whoa. Wish it were a Sunday. Whoa, whoa. Because that's my fun day. No, it's not. <laughs> um, uh, Sundays typically aren't my fun days because I, I haven't really thought about this until now, until I mentioned this. Um, I think because Mondays, I put so much pressure on myself to get so much done. You know? It's like the first day of the week, I want to get a good start. And in the hopes that I don't have to work so hard later in the week or that I can accomplish all the things that I want to accomplish in the week and here we are it's Monday night it's 11 o'clock at night and I worked all day all morning I worked all morning I did more work than any of my co-workers on the at least the dashboard the computer little measurement that measures how much work we've done and then I went to Paul's house and we worked on his his business sort of and I helped him kind of take care of his family and put together a puzzle believe it or not a puzzle that he couldn't put together of the Cubs and uh, we hung out we had a good time I burned uh, some yard brush that was in the back of his house that he wanted burned and gotten rid of so I helped him with that and Courtney's been sick all day and so now I'm driving to her place and so literally this is why not that I don't like helping people out in fact it's just the opposite the only thing I want to do every day is help people out but I think what I'm realizing as I get older and most recently, when I've been sick, I don't know that I didn't have COVID. And uh, when I've been stressed about you and about your mother, and when I've been stressed at work and everything, I think as I get older, I'm realizing I, uh, I get tired easy when I take care of a lot of other people. And when I try to do too much in one day, and I try to work too hard, I get tired and um, so that's where I'm at. It's Monday evening. It's 11 o'clock. I worked the first part of the day. I uh, went to Paul's house and worked on our business and then worked for his family and took care of things there and had a good time, visited. And um, now I'm driving halfway across the state to go see Courtney because she's sick. Let's see if I can help her. I got her some Gatorade here. And that's what it is. And sometimes, like I said, sometimes that's just the way life is. You're just running and running and running every day and you're sick and nothing's going right. Um, I usually like that, like I said. Uh, but recently I've been feeling kind of worn down. But more importantly, I guess my lesson again, my lesson to you is uh, make Monday, at least for me anyway, that's what I suggest, make Monday your day where you get a good head start, <clears throat> a good head start on your week, you know, and make sure that you give yourself at least one day of rest, usually Sunday, um, before you do that. And that's, that's why Sundays are so important to me. You know, you think about that and the Bible says, uh, you know, God made the day, the, the earth and the heavens in six days, and then he rested on the seventh. Well, there's a reason humans gave themselves two days. There's a reason we gave ourselves a weekend, a Saturday and a Sunday. And that's because we're not God. We need more than one day of rest. You figure if God needed one, we certainly need at least two, right? And so, uh, the Catholics also say, well, you know, you, you go out on Friday night, you recover on Saturday, and you go to Mass on Sunday. But nonetheless, 
um, you should find a, a beginning of your week, an atlas, a focal point of your week so that you can control your projects and your goals and yourself and your mission and your life and all of those things that you wish to get done and all of those things that other people wish for you to get done. And I guess I did that today. So I'm a tired but I'm a tired daddy though, so but that's typically why I don't like Sundays. I can feel my resting time coming to an end. And typically my Mondays are full. They are very, very full. Most people will say that, but it's true. And uh, so here we are, it's 11.15 and I'm moving to my third house of the day, my third project of the day. I went and I worked again for myself for 11.50 Academy. I worked for Paul and helped him and his family and now I'm going to Courtney to help her, so. Didn't forget about you though. I never do. Not any day, not ever, because every day is Father's Day. Happy Father's Day, December 13th. It is a Monday still for another 45 minutes. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Tomorrow will not be Monday, but it will be Father's Day. And I'll see you then.